Good morning. Today, something was highlighted to me very early. Um, prodigal son. Prodigal son. And um, so I thought today I would read us a little story about the prodigal son. And I looked it up in my NIV Bible and I felt like I was supposed to take a peek at it in the Passion Translation. And I'm so glad I did because in the Passion Translation, the title of the story is not the prodigal son. The title of the story is the loving father. Once there was a father with two sons, the younger son came to his father and said, Father, don't you think it's time to give me the share of your estate that belongs to me? So the father went ahead and distributed among the two sons their inheritance. Shortly afterward, the younger son packed up all his belongings and traveled off to see the world. He journeyed to a far off land where he soon wasted all he was given in a binge of extravagant and reckless living. With everything spent and nothing left, he grew hungry for there was a severe famine in that land. So he begged a farmer in that country to hire him. The farmer hired him and sent him out to feed the pigs. The son was so famished, he was willing to even eat the slop given to the pigs because no one would feed him a thing. Humiliated, the son finally realized that he was what he was doing and he thought, there are many workers at my father's house who have all the food they want with plenty to spare. They lack nothing. Why am I here dying of hunger, feeding these pigs and eating their slop? I want to go back home to my father's house and I'll say to him, Father, I was wrong. I've sinned against you. I'll never be worthy to be called your son. But please, Father, just treat me like one of your employees. So the young son set off for home. From a long distance away, his father saw him coming, dressed as a beggar. Great compassion swelled up in the heart of the father for his son who was returning home. So the father raced out to meet him. He swept him up in his arms, hugged him dearly, and kissed him over and over again with tender love. I've heard a lot of people talk about this story. There's a little more to it. At the end, of course, the son makes his speech to his father. I, I, don't, I don't deserve to be your son. I know that I have really screwed up, but could you please just treat me like your servant, like one of your servants, just one of your hired help. And, um, Dad, he, <laughs> he doesn't even listen to the whole speech. He interrupts and he says, son, you're home. <laughs> you're home. <laughs> I see Dorothy just clicking her heels and saying, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Turning to his servants, the father said, the father said, quick, bring me the best robe, my very own robe, and I will place it on his shoulders. Bring the ring, the seal of sonship, and I will put it on his finger. Bring the best shoes you can find for my son, and let's prepare a great feast for this beloved son of mine was once dead, and now he's alive again, once he was lost, but now he is found. How much love <laughs> this dad 
who his son said, you know, you're as good as dead to me. Just give me your money. That's really all that you matter. And he spent it all. He wasted it all. He's living crazy. But when this dad, who represents our dad in heaven, sees his son from far off, that tells you that he was looking for him. He was waiting for him. <laughs> he was looking out for the time when his son would come back to him. He didn't even wait. He didn't even wait. He took off running. <laughs> he took off running. And he grabbed his son and he hugged him and he kissed him repeatedly. Guys, the prodigals are coming home. The prodigals are coming home and they will be welcomed by our Father in Heaven with open arms. It might not look like we expect it to look. We're so used to our religious ways. <laughs> We're so used to our righteous self, righteous ways. God forgive me. <laughs> it might not look like we expect it to look, but the prodigals are coming home and their father is gonna meet them before they even have a chance to set foot in the house. He's gonna run to them and tackle them with love. Give your expectations to God. Because if you see with your eyes, you're not gonna see what he sees. But if you see with his eyes, you see with love. Keep running. Run to him. <laughs> so I just want to pray for the prodigals. God, would you turn their hearts home? <laughs> home is where the heart is. And they gave their hearts to you so very long ago. Would you remind them to whom they belong and that you are a good, good father. Would they lay down what they're holding and run to you? Not even have a chance to set foot in your driveway because you tackle them down with your hugs and your kisses and your welcome home. Welcome home. <laughs> Welcome home. The prodigals are coming home, y'all. If you are a prodigal, lay it down and run home. And if you love a prodigal, welcome them home. Welcome home. <laughs> it's gonna be a great day. <laughs>